Rose is in the house. She's ready for some action. There is one Mr. Bradley P. How you feeling, Brad? Good, good, good. Jesse will join us in a minute. Um, just like Brad Goju Jing just said in the comments, nothing says Memorial Day weekend like cauliflower soup. Actually, I think Brad, there's a, there's a trend going on right now on YouTube called like, we can't stop eating something. I've been seeing more and more people posting that. Is that a, a trend? I don't really pay attention to stuff like that. This is something we can't stop eating. It's the most creamy, keto, dairy-free cauliflower soup that I made up on a whim because uh, Brad and I went to Panera a while back to make that video and they had a like uh, broccoli cheddar soup. And I'm like, I bet I can make a much cleaner version of that. So we're gonna make that. We're gonna make some amazing pasture-raised, uh, oh, you want a, a, a knife, Babel? Amazing pasture-raised pork chops that I actually just put on the Traeger and I'm not gonna be fooled again. We won't be fooled again. But I'm not gonna sear. With, with the big knife or which one? That one? Yeah. I'm not gonna sear on there. I'm just reverse searing. So I'm, you want three knives, Rose? Wow, must be cutting a lot of stuff. I'm going to just bake it on the Traeger and get some smoke flavor in there. Then I'm gonna sear it in, remember Art's favorite pan here? The good old carbon <laughs> steel pan. You still can't get the video on there? No. So we are, Brad can't see the video, but he can see the comments. Um, you probably see me make this on Flav City Instagram. The only difference, I added some bacon. So I took some pasteurized bacon rendered it out because I thought the flavor of bacon with the cauliflower soup will be like, mm, mm, mm. should be delicious, but you don't have to do that. So Rose is eager to get started. So is daddy. Um, welcome you guys to Sunday night supper with the Parish family. I hope you're having a great day. Here you go, Rose. You're going to do it. Please leave a comment down below. Let Rose, honey, Brad, myself, D. Slav, let us know where you're watching from. Uh, we are in sunny South Florida and Pompano Beach. Actually, the sun was so strong earlier and it just went away about an hour ago, which is quite welcome. There you go, sweetie. Um, and please let us know what you're making for dinner, all that good stuff. Um, obviously, Sunday suppers are sponsored by Thrive Market. I'll tell you about Thrive Market for the few of you that don't hear me talk about it all the time. Um, but my promo link in the description box obviously gets you the 25% off your first order, the free gift, 30 days risk-free, but something's back in stock. Wink, wink. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it's been out of stock for months and it's back in stock. So wait till I talk about it later on. Thrive Market is amazing for keto, paleo, gluten-free stuff. Cheaper than the grocery store. Okay, less talking, more cooking. I'm doing my watered-down uh, Harmless Harvest coconut water. You want some too, sweetie? Okay, cauliflower soup. It's a lovely dish that no one knows is dairy-free. You can swap out potato like potato leek soup with cauliflower, ain't no one gonna know nothing unless you tell them, Rose. Are you gonna tell anyone? You are? Uh oh, we got a snitch over here, right? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts optional with bacon. I had two nice slices in there. Then it's a very simple soup, and I've done it with less ingredients than this before. It's onions, zucchini, celery, and that's it. A little bit of garlic. Oh, you want to cut the zucchini? Yeah, Daddy needs you. Rose, all your knives are right well, here. Brian B says making shack shuka tonight for dinner. That's oh, awesome. Dang. Oh, dang, so nice. Rosina wants to peel. Watch how good she's getting at her peeling skills. Hold on, let me clear the room here for you. Okay. Oh, Ken Lewis gives a five dollar super, super sure, Daddy, chat. Thank, Thank you, Ken. I'll oh, flip it upside down. Like this. Thank you, Kenny. Is that Ken Lewis, the hedge fund manager? Yeah, show daddy how you do it. Ken Griffin is no. the hedge fund man. There's a Ken Lewis too, I think. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh. Nice. So zucchini is super creamy. Perfect for a low carb diet. Also, everything we're making is paleo tonight. And then onions are a must when it comes to the base of a soup. And then celery just is nice for a soup kind of dish too. But the kicker is cooking it in bone broth, right? Great deal, always on Thrive Market. Um, and coconut milk. The coconut milk makes it uber, uma creamy, right? For my German friends watching, but without adding any dairy. It's loco en la cabeza, I'm telling you. You're gonna love this soup. A couple people have asked if this recipe is posted online anymore for the cauliflower oh, soup. Oh, you know what? Go to Flav City Instagram stories and I'll post it at the end of the night because I actually typed it out on my iPhone one time, and I, I couldn't find it here, but I know it's screen saved to my Instagram or to my camera roll, and I will share it. 
because sharing is caring. So go to Flav City Instagram. I got to point this AC on us. It is so hot in the kitchen right now. Rose, honey, you're doing a great job. Boom. Look at this. Uh, Boom. Dang, girlfriend. <laughs> Done? Okay, now, Rose, you got to cut it. Goju Chang says, is Push. this soup good for dipping my grass-fed burger in during my Memorial Day cookout? To be honest, it helps it slide down your gullet quicker. Push, Rosa. Absolutely. <laughs> your grass-fed burger, obviously, from Costco, right? All right, guys. Welcome to Sunday Night Supper in South Florida. Thank you, Rose. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. When you get down to the base of a onion, be careful. Just tip it down and finish slicing it like that. There's no need to be a hero. No one wants to go to the emergency room on a Memorial Day Sunday. So, Rose, we have the onions. Oh, careful. Daddy's chopping, right? Do you want to add it to the pot? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Take Daddy's bench scraper here, Rose. Mm -hmm. Yep, scoop some, uh, some onions in there. Now use your hand to scoop it on. Good. And then dump it in the pot here, Rose. Dump. Brava. Do that again for Daddy. I mean, it's a really easy soup. Yep. Yep. Now put some more on there, though. Scoop some more. Mm -hmm. Use your left hand and scoop it on. Good. Brava. Okay. Now Daddy needs some salt in there, Rose. I'll scoop the rest. Can you give Daddy some salt? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll do this one. No, you're going to give me the salt. You're the salt baby, aren't you? No. Baby, exactly. Here you go. We'll give Rose the good stuff. That's the Celtic uh, flower of the ocean. Esther says London, UK in the house too. Nice. Keep, give me one more, Rose. More salt. Jolly good to watch. Jolly good to watch. I love the British sayings. Um, I'm a big fan of Jamie Oliver. And he, he used some phrase the other day. He's in a place called, what is it, Norf, Norfolk Sounds or something. And it's, it was so British, I, I didn't get it. It was so funny. Maxine says, careful with the jar next to Rose right Oh, there. yeah, the hollandaise sauce. This is going to be our sauce, actually, for the pork chops. This is Primal Kitchen vegan hollandaise. Not bad. It's not the same as real hollandaise. That's going to be my pork chop sauce. Because I didn't feel like making a, a pan sauce today. Yeah, bone broth. Do you want some? Yeah. And for those that miss it, what is the salt that you're using? Celtic sea salt. When you go on Thrive Market, get the Celtic gray salt. It's one of my favorites. This is the flower of the ocean. It's a little more expensive. But if they have that, you can try it. But Celtic gray salt. And then put it in your blender and just pulse it a few times because it's very chunky. But the mineral content of that is so yummy that it's actually, as you can see, gray. Rose is a crusher, y'all, of bone broth. Do you want some bone broth? Or do you want to mix it? You want to put it in? Oh, we're not ready. We're still cooking, Rose. Oh, I done. There's nothing on. That's nice. Let's suck out the fumes before Daddy does anything stupid here, Rose. Yep, but there's... Oh, Daddy made a mess already. Oh. Uh. Uh. Uh-oh. Goju Jang asks, is the ghee going in the soup or is it for the pork chop? Uh, both. I already, uh, you want to pour it in there? But I'm not ready for that rose. Here, let's get another pot here. Uh, yeah, I, I rendered the bacon in a touch of ghee. I'm going to add more ghee now. Thank you for that, Goju. Rose is dying to, uh, you want to pour some? Okay. Let me get you a pot then, Rose. Fred, can I grab a little pot for Rosie here? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rosina. I was wondering why I wasn't heating up. Actually, Rose, that's a good idea. Desi, can you pour this with uh, Rosie in here? If you heat the broth, Rose knows it comes to a boil quicker. Everyone's, everyone say hello to the one and only DJ D. Slaw from the BG with love. Oh, we need to cut it first. You gotta cut it. Just booked our Bulgarian tickets actually last night. We'll be in Bulgaria middle of June. So hopefully some Bulgarian fans are watching. Yeah, you're gonna do that, Rosina. Okay, so. Let me cut it and then you can. Uh, onions, yeah. bacon. Okay, careful now. A little bit of zucchini here. I think I'll do two zucchini. 
Wow, Carolyn says, I just got that hollandaise sauce, had it in my scrambled eggs this morning. It's delicious. Oh, nice. The holland yeah, I thought I'd make a really nice sauce with the, um, the pork chops. Kind of I actually have an amazing pork chop That's pan kind of sauce beautiful. recipe on my blog. Oh, you want and the pan drink? sauce is made with oh, horseradish. You should have given her. Oh, here, Rose, I'm going to give you a shot glass. This is going to give you a cup of Here, Rosina. Oh. It's so cool that she drinks the bone broth because it's rich with collagen and gelatin and all that Straight other stuff. Straight from the pot. Wow. <laughs> Straight from the pot. It's, it's easier from the cup, love. Hmm? From the cup, Rosina. Yeah, oh, careful, it's going to spill, mama. Here, 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 the little cup. Much easier from the cup, mama. Okay, no, okay. <laughs> when I tell you guys that Rose loves her bone broth, she just begged me to open the kettle on fire I thought she wanted to warm it up for the soup. She's a beast. She's drinking it straight out of the pot. That's why these cheeks, Rose. Let me see. Collagen rich cheeks, my love. Okay. The cool thing is, actually, if you go to my Instagram tonight, I'll have a flash sale for this um, bone broth. So go there later on tonight. Um, collagen and gelatin is obvious, but something called conjure chondroitin is in here that is so gut friendly and immune friendly, it's cray cray. But Rose drinks it, room temperature. Room temperature, she loves it. Yeah, it's like people drink room temperature Guinness. Rose drinks room temperature bone broth. Right, Rose? Okay. So warming that up, my sweet love. Here, more. I love, you know she likes something when she really growls. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, guess who's going to be... Two years old, one week ish from today. We're having a birthday party next Sunday. I thought about live streaming it, but then I was like, eh. Desi might kill me if I do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to do a really fun pizza party. Don't worry, she won't kill you on the live. It'll be yeah, after, after the live. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, Rose's birthday party is uh, next Sunday, but her birthday is the following day, right, Ben? Yeah, and thank you so much for everybody who sent gifts. Yeah, it's very kind of you. Thank you, guys. Very kind of you. Rachel Murray, Lala yeah. Girl, thank you for sending yeah, I'm really... all the gifts so she can open. Really cool gifts for Rosie. Bethany says, the grunts are so funny. <laughs> the grunts are where it's at. Oh, my God, this is hilarious. It's like a kitten with a milk bowl. Is it good, Rose? This is crazy. I mean, kids. most kids will eat, like, juice boxes like this. Most kids will drink in boxes or chocolate milk like that. That is so cool. But I'm telling you, it is the best thing a toddler can drink. She'd prefer to drink it out of the pot. What? At what age can they start drinking uh, bone broth, sweetie? Uh, pretty much at six months. Yeah, I'd highly recommend. So, Dusty and I, at some point next year, will do a cookbook for babies and toddlers because we have some amazing, amazing uh, recipes, but insight into when you can introduce those food because that's really important, right? That's right. <laughs> you, were, you weren't aware we were doing that next year, were you? <laughs> like, next year what? No, come on, we're doing it next year. Well, actually, coming out in December is the first installment of the Tasty Adventures of Rose we're Honey, a new children's book series by Flav City, and it's all in the family because Desi's brother, Carlo Young, in Bulgaria is an amazing artist and illustrator. Can we show the yeah, cover? Yeah, you, we haven't showed this to anyone. The book is going to be an amazing, amazing yeah, journey of Rose cooking and baking with us, cup, but also learning about and ingredients. And we have a recipe in there too. It's super exciting. But her brother is so talented and he was so excited to work on this with us. Wardrobe change? OG in the house. Joseph Finley gives a $5 super chat. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor. He said, hey, yo. Dreamcoat Finley and Tunes, his wife. Thank you for that, Joseph. Have a great weekend all. Remember the reason for this weekend, says Joseph Finley. Yes, great point. With the, uh, what is that, the Joker uh, yes. avatar? The Joker avatar. Yeah, so that'll be the first. There's going to be a three-part series of the Tasty Adventures of Rose Honey Pea. Really cool children's book. I'm super excited about that. So Ashley is asking the important questions. Desi, what kind of cake are you baking for Rose? Ooh, I'll let Desi. It's going to be an amazing. I mean, we'll share it on Instagram stories, but I'll let Desi tell you about it. And then two super chats until that happens. Two super chats came in. Uh, Ten from Q 
Kitty. It says, I use vital proteins, collagen, and tearaway protein. I've been working out more and feel uh, joint pain on my knees and tired for the rest of the day. What supplement do you recommend for joint pain and energy? Energy is a tough one. I'd have to get to back, back to you on that one. Joint pain? I mean, besides that, really collagen? You might want to do it a second. Uh, it's inflammation in the joints. Yeah, well, second scoop of collagen. My question is, are you eating an inflammatory diet? If you don't know what that is, oh, search uh, Flav City Inflammation on YouTube. I have a whole video because inflammatory yeah. foods, oh. Rosina, are really, really bad for you. Thank you for that super chat. And Julio Yu gives a super chat, says, Four Sigmatic ap Adaptogens, what's it all about? Ah, oh, great question for Art. Yeah, Art lives by adaptogens. Yeah, um, functional adaptogens and mushrooms, I actually have them in my pantry right now. Highly, highly recommended. Very good for immune system, brain, focus, stuff like that. All right, so there it is. There's the cover. Coming to Amazon. In December, I'll let you know when pre-sales are available. Be the perfect holiday gift to anyone who has a child in their life. Can we show any more things? I'll show you some more. The illustrations are amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Viviana's in the house. Who? Viviana. Vivi in Brooklyn. No more images? I mean, no. Oh, okay. That was just too much sugar in her. Okay, guys, welcome. If you're just joining, hello, hello from Pompano Beach. It is 5.20 on a Sunday night, the Sunday before Memorial Day. It is 2.20 out in Fresno, California. Uh, my girl Viviana's watching from New York. My boy uh, Finley's watching from Ohio. Please leave a comment down below. Let us know where y'all watching from. I'm going to get my iPad for some comments here if I know where it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is on the table. Let us know where you're watching from. We're making cream of cauliflower Consistent, soup. Yeah. Something I've really been hashtag obsessed. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with cream of cauliflower soup because it's a low carb keto dairy free cream of cauliflower soup that has flavor up the yin yang and it gets better the next day. And we have some beautiful pasture raised um, loin chops on the grill right now. We're gonna finish them in a hot pan. The loin chop has the fillet on one side and the strip on the other. Please leave comments down below. We want to know what you're making. Probably a lot of people are not making soup on a uh, Memorial Day weekend, but mm -hmm. it's okay. Different shows for different folks. Um, also, let's give a little love real quick to the biggest sponsor of the channel, and I'll tell you what's back in stock, Thrive Market. So here's what I want you to do. If you don't know about Thrive Market, underneath my video right here, I know a lot of you guys know this, but the arrow or see more, this link right here is your money link, thrivemarket.com slash bobbylive. Gets you 25% off your first order at Thrive Market, a free gift, which is a Primal Kitchen free gift, and it's 30 days risk-free. I put all of my Thrive Market favorites here. Not only food, but vitamins that I believe are best in class, toothpaste that is non-toxic. Thrive Market has the most non-toxic dishwashing pods. It's all there. Plus, it's 30 days risk-free. So if you don't l -l -l love it, Get your membership fee back. They're happy to cancel it for you, but at least get your 25% off your first order. And this came in stock Friday night, and it's been here all weekend long. I predict it will be sold out by tonight because I talk about it in today's video about fatty liver disease. This, go on Thrive Market right now using my promo link. Add this to your cart. This is the Coconut Paleo Keto Cereal. That is best in class. I eat this as a dessert once in a while. Other things like Magic Spoon, blah, 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 they're garbage because they are low carb, but they have natural flavors, GMO whey protein, sunflower oil. This is literally coconut meat, coconut water, and a touch of starch. There's nine grams of net carbs, but because it's made with coconut water and coconut meat, loaded to the gills with MCTs, it's like eating crispy coconut meat. It's amazing. So get it, and then also check out my list down below. I talked about collagen. I do two scoops of this every day, but I put everything in the description box. We love Thrive Market. Show them some support. Try them out. It's 100% risk-free. I only bring you guys the best stuff. Speaking of Thrive, Betty says, not a question, just wanted via a super chat, $5. Thank you. Said, Thank you, Betty. 
not a question, just wanted to say I made my first Thrive order today. Looking forward to it. We made breakfast for dinner. Nice. Ooh, breakfast for dinner sounds great. Enjoy your uh, first uh, Thrive Market order. We get about three a month. Got a big box of those uh, epic bacon bars last uh, the other day. Amazing. Bethany says, made some kale cauliflower soup yesterday. It was a bit bland. So following along closely yeah. to see what I missed. So my guess is you just under seasoned a little bit. And to be honest, the bone broth is the kicker for this recipe. And that's why in five ingredient meals, um, by the way, updated title here, five ingredient meals on Amazon. It's a bestseller because I get all my shopping tips in there with five ingredient meals. And I tell you exactly what to get at the store for my recipes that are best in class ingredients. But bone broth gives you this umptiousness, Betty, this, uh, this kind of lusciousness, and it's so darn good for you. So I think you were missing that. I think you were missing uh, cooking the vegetables for 20 minutes until they're super sweet, and then seasoning with a good pinch of salt at the end, and the coconut cream is good too, but it's optional. You don't have to do that, um, but you'll, you'll get some inspo as we follow along. And then Richard asks, Bobby, I was looking at Kettle on Fire bone broth, and they seem to have a lot of saturated fat. Isn't that concerning? Appreciate your opinion. Yeah, so no. there's. There's different kinds of saturated fat. People like to vilify all saturated fat. Just so you know, saturated fat from pasture-raised beef bones or pasture-raised dairy is actually very good for you and your body needs it. So if you're looking here, so I don't know what you're talking about with this one, my man, because this is zero saturated fat. Um, the bone broth is made from bones and vegetables, so it has zero saturated fat. That being said, I cook with 100% saturated fat in the form of uh, bone broth. This is a uh, bone broth, uh, ghee. This is grass-fed ghee. Grass-fed saturated fat, pasture-raised saturated fat, virgin coconut oil are very good for you. It doesn't contribute to heart disease, plaque, artery clogging, uh, saturated fat. Inflammatory foods cause that, not fat. Very, very important distinction there. Once again, go on Amazon tonight, Amazon Prime Video, and watch Fat Fiction by Dr. Mark Hyman. It explains everything so easily and why we're following the wrong advice in terms of eating low fat, higher carb, uh, canola oil, heart healthy. It's all a bunch of bogus. All right, let me do a little housekeeping here, y'all. Really hot day here in South Florida. And it's always hot in the kitchen here. I have a feeling when the summer comes and it's like 90 every day, it's going to be so hot in there, especially when I'm cooking and doing live streams and everything. I see Chef Rose's naked butt. <laughs> I see a naked butt. It's hard to keep pants on that butt. <laughs> Very hard to keep pants on that butt. All righty. Just put this over here. Once again, on the grill, low at 275 degrees, stopping a lot of stuff here, I have my pork chops. The thinking is I'm baking them, but in the Traeger grill that burns the wood pellets. So I'm smoking and grilling it or baking it to 130 degrees. I have a timer. I want to make sure it didn't go off. Oh, literally going off right now. <laughs> I thought I heard something. So you guys will stay here, but let me just show you what's going on. I set the timer for 130 degrees, I think. 128. We literally just hit it. So I'm baking them just like you would in the oven. It's not fireball today. But by setting the timer here, I ensure that I don't overcook them because pork chops are lean. These are not pork rib chops. But the first cook is done. These are ricotta, twice cooked pork chops. So I, I wish you guys can smell right now. They smell. Uh, 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 unbelievable. I'll get them off the grill. Kill the power. I have some amazing, uh, look at these cherry wood pellets in here right now that smell fantastic. Let me show you what's up. So they don't look appealing right now. They have zero color. And that's actually what I want. So let me show you. Uh, last one. So check out my pork chops. Like, I would not eat these right now, right? They're actually underdone a little bit, but they have zero color. 
When you get a steak bread, you want a nice caramelized crust, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to sear them in a screaming hot art favorite pan, the uh, carbon steel. I'm debating doing it inside versus outside because it's going to be really messy, but then it's going to get crusty and we'll be done. I'm going to put this guy right here. That's going to be, thank you, bread stick. Oh, I took it out already, actually. See? I'll stick it in half. <laughs> nice bread, bread. I love it. So that's going to pork, a little bit of sauce. I was going to make a pan sauce, but I'm going to use this hollandaise sauce. And then soup, the ultimate moderate fat, low carb, protein, and uh, side dish uh, dinner. It's going to be amazing. Everyone's going to love it. Is it a traditional dish for Memorial Day? Text to the no, but who cares? What do you got, Brad? From oh, Shu Chang. Funny story, actually, about it. He said, you should get Traeger to do a promo for a giveaway. I like the way you think. They actually are, they told me, extremely low on product right now. They, um, they were nice enough to send me the grill, by the way, for free. But I asked for the big one, and they didn't have inventory. So they sent me the small one. Uh, but they're, they're crushing it right now, I think. They're like Brad Paisley, crushing it with a cold one in their hands. Viviana says, please tell me the grill is clean. Clean as a whistle. But there's zero risk of a fire when you're baking a 275 Viviana. But thank you. You do have to clean the Traegers every three times. You've got to vacuum out all the, um, all the ashes and everything like that. Ah, I'm going to do a little Instagram story here for the folks. And you can actually bake these way ahead of time. Even if they come down to room temperature and sit for an hour, it doesn't matter because you're going to sear them so hard later on, it'll heat them back up and kill any potential pathogens or anything like that. All right, pork chops are off the grill. They hit my internal temperature of 128 degrees, but they're not done. Look, they have zero color. I'm going to get my carbon steel pan. This is the one I wanted to show you. This is Art's favorite. I'm going to get that ripping hot use my splatter guard and make those crusty as can be, but I have time because I need to cook this down. Remember, you gotta bring out all the sweetness of the vegetables. That's how you make a bomb.com soup. Yeah, I picked those for you. Can you show those to everyone? I picked some really lovely mangoes for uh, juice lab this morning. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's perfect, Rose, honey. Good thing the camera can't see what you're showing us right now. That's perfect. Rose likes to show us her potties. Beautiful, Rose, honey. Got some amazing mangoes. I actually don't even pick them. I just wait for them to fall overnight. These varietals, I have it written down. I forgot which one it is. This is sugar. Maybe we should peel one right now. Chris asked, can I substitute broccoli for the soup? Yes, you can, Christopher. I would say do half and half. Uh, I have two pounds of Costco frozen cauliflower rice. I would do one pound of each. Otherwise, broccoli is a little different of a texture. It's not as water heavy as cauliflower. So I would do one pound of each. It's funny. I used to always grate my own cauliflower rice, but I'm so lazy these days and really busy that I just buy it from Costco. You get four one pound bags for like seven bones. It's like Sign me up, son. Marie gives a super chat and says she's having the gluten-free organic pasta by Jovial and a spicy Italian sausage from Whole Foods. Wow. Amazing. Awesome. Great sale of Jovial at Whole Foods right now. Very sad that the, uh, the founder, the wife, uh, died very suddenly, I guess. Very sad, but they make an amazing product, and I'm out. Remind me to get more beekeepers, Brad. And Goju asks, mm. any updates on the house? Possible move-in date? No, not yet. I should add this to my list. This is, this is available most places, but the price on Thrive Market is amazing. Get this with my link, you guys. Propolis is the active ingredient in honey that has all the immune properties. This is just a spray. Hey, come over here, Rose. I'll show. Come over here. I'll give you. Rose loves it. I talk all the time, so my throat always gets raw, and I spray this all day long, and Rosa Miella loves it too. Here. There you go, sweetie. I just coat your throat, and if you happen to have a tickle, you know, knock that sucker out like nobody's beeswax. So man, get that on Thrive Market. It's literally three, four dollars cheaper than uh, Whole Foods. 
right? I know where to buy everything, right? I go to Whole Foods, I Thrive Market, Costco. I buy from everywhere and I love going to stores, but I know certain things that are cheaper on Thrive Market and certain things like Whole Foods doesn't have, like almost nobody carries this. The only company who makes a coconut cereal is called Nuco and you can only get it on Amazon. This is an amazing cereal, all right? Um, at the grocery store, it's very hard to find almond milks that have no emulsifiers. Almost no one has it. This is a shelf-stable one from the Thrive Market that only has one emulsifier. No vitamin fortifieds, no gel and gum, no locust bean gum. This is my go-to for making uh, smoothies. Oh, well, thank you, Rose. Thank you. Rose really likes to keep me hydrated. How about these matcha drinks from uh, Whole Foods? Kelly gives a super chat just now and says, just want to say hi and happy almost for dinner, Rose. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. So if you can see inside that pot, the vegetables are caramelized. Sounds good for me, bacon. Right? The bacon could be the call of the yeah, yeah, century. So Desi's peeling two of the mangoes. It's been so windy the last two weeks that so many unripened mangoes fell that we're going to lose a bunch from the front tree that's not supposed to be... Um, in season until August, but they've been falling. And then people drive around here. They don't even ask. They just grab the mangoes off the ground, which I'm more than happy to give it to you, but I appreciate you asking. The best is when the coconut guy shows up, right? We love that. Hey, Rosa. Okay, so extremely caramelized right here. What's she up? Come, come to daddy, Miala. Rosa, Miala. Have you said hello to everyone, Rose, by the way? Hi! Okay, so, once again, bacon was rendered, onions in there, rest there, onion, zucchini, uh, I forgot about the celery, darn it! Yeah. Darn it! <laughs> celery would be in there, it'd be very nice. I'm just going to do it now really quick, Rosa. I'm going to turn the heat up. Just take it off the heat for a second. Let me put you down for one second. No! Yeah. No? Okay, no celery is going in. <laughs> It's okay. Cut it. Ah, it's okay, Mama. It'll be fine. Because it, honestly, it needs seven minutes to cook down, and this is done already. Done, Rose, right? Yeah. Done. Ooh, look at that. And then Sharon asked the type of the. I probably could have just chatted yeah. this. It's a beekeeper's natural for the uh, yeah. throw spray. Beekeeper's Bee natural. Beekeeper's natural. Amazing. Mm. Oh my God, that is like sugar. Gosh, that is so good. Mm. Oh, Lala Girl's in the house. So, so Lala. Play Fam, Coconut Bliss. What's the old container design versus the new design? Love to all. LOL, especially Rose Honey. <laughs> but I can take that one. Baba. Yeah, the old design. Um, me, really? The newer design, okay. which is like the faces. And I don't know how to describe it. I don't want to say the word weird because weird is relative. But it's a bit different, the new packaging. And yeah. Then, the old uh, packaging is a bit more bland, and in my opinion, a little bit more boring. But, but same ingredients, same ingredients, just different packaging. I like the rebranding a lot, to be honest. Lala, thank you for the gift for Rose Honey. She's waiting to open it on her birthday. Shake, shake, shake. Brava. Thank you guys for sending gifts for Rose. You're very sweet. You want to mix it? I agree. But, Rose, we added something new to the pot. So that means we have to season it, right? Add some salt, frozen meal. Mm -hmm. I think it all went on my foot. Do it again. One more. Grazie mille, Bella. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mixy, mixy. There you go, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Brava. Careful, foot. Yeah, of course. Mama. Yeah, that's not ready to eat. It's cold roast. She's going to show me. <laughs> Did you ever leave a tingle in your mouth? S. Kelly? I've, I've never, I've had, never that. had that problem, no. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, it's so hot in here. My God, I'm schwitzing. It's blowing right on my head. I'm jealous. Oh, Rose. <laughs> That's why we call her the snacking chef. Rose, you have to make them. So I just want to cook the cauliflower for a minute. Bring her um, tower back over. And then I'm going to show you the, the secret to a secret ingredient. In kitchen, you want to mix it? in kitchen stadium is how do you make cream of cauliflower soup but do it dairy free huh good rosa 
The last we're going to do a Wawa fast food review. Um, mm -hmm. Try not to do anything that's too regional. So yeah, it's got to be available everywhere. Like a Panda Express or a Burger King, anyone can get that. Oh. Just trying to make it so that anyone uh, can get it. Uh, get in there. Get the hip and shit like that. Crazy like the McGee. Mm. There's some killer. Mm. How do we do it? With, did anyone say coconut milk? Coconut milk. I use this a lot because we're mainly dairy free here, but I'm telling you, there's so many savory flavors in here. It won't taste coconutty. It won't taste like a pina colada. And this brand, in my opinion, you okay, Rose? Easy, girlfriend. Is the best brand around. Native Forest makes this coconut milk. It's a little more expensive than most, but seriously, it's way cheaper on Thrive Market than Whole Foods. What I love is it doesn't have any emulsifiers. A lot of brands will have emulsifiers. The two others that I know that don't have it is Thrive Market brand and, and um, Trader Joe's. But those textures tend to be a little chunky. I'm telling you, let me show you. I don't know what they do in their making process. I know it's super premium over there. I love that company. But the texture, look at this. Ah, ooh. The texture of this milk is cremoso. You would think there is an emulsifier in there. And my problem with emulsifiers is when you can't avoid them, you should. But with um, coconut milk, it tends to give it a slimy texture. And we don't want that. But I'm telling you, this is like probably close to $4 a can on um, Whole Foods. But on Thrive Market, I hope I put this on my list here. Because it's so darn essential. Let me see. Yep. Native Forest Organic Coconut Milk. And then they have a brand of coconut cream that it's normally called Let's Do Organic, but I think they're coming out with Native Forest. So once again, I have to show you guys where it is because I want you buying the best stuff. All the stuff I'm mentioning here is right here. And even the shampoo and the conditioner from Acure is super high quality. I actually uh, find it to be $3 cheaper than Whole Foods. So try, once again, try uh, Thrive Market using my link, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby Live slash Bobby Live. 25% off your first order, a free gift of Primal Kitchen, and 30 days risk-free, zero to risk. Because you'll get your membership fee of $60 back if you don't love it, but at least you got 25% off your first order, and Thrive Market is the longest supporter of the channel. Mm-hmm. One time, okay? Why don't we ever eat lettuce, Brad? We've been on a little bit of a salad uh, bear market, maybe. I used to make a lot of salads. I tend to cook them these days. I'll fold kale into my soups. I use a lot of the layered, the layered green powder. Amazing stuff. But yeah, Dusty doesn't like uh, salads, to be honest. Not a huge fan. Okay. Wow, Jay Hines says I get loaded with greens. I've never heard of that. With greens? Really? It could be a certain greens. It could happen maybe with like kale, right, which is higher in fiber. Does that happen with like romaine? Oh my god. So good. I literally just fall off the tree. It's the craziest thing ever. Okie dokie, y'all. So, vegetables cooked down, the bacon cooked down, cauliflower is heated through. Let's get this party started. We'll need about three 16 ounce containers, 16.9 ounce containers. So call it a quart and a half-ish of bone broth. You can make your own. Desi and I used to do that all the time. I just got super lazy and everything, and it made the house and the condo smell like uh, a barn, basically. So I get it from Maketo and Fire. And I said, go to my Instagram stories later on. I'll have a 30% off promo code. That only happens once a month if I'm lucky. Flave City on Instagram. Who's having a good time over there, sister, mister? Because in my book, this book, this is my keto book for diabetic and keto. This is my five ingredient book. That is like 7,000 five-star reviews right now on Amazon. Ships around the world. The reason why people are loving this book 
is because it's the only cookbook I know about that tells you how to buy ingredients that are best in class for the recipes and then come home and make five ingredient meals. It's like very, very informative and people are ba 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 they're loving it. And I use a lot of bone broth in there because when you only have five ingredients, you really have to make them all count. And I'm telling you, if I used water for this soup, or if I used like, even like a chicken stock or a beef stock, it's not the same as gelatin and collagen rich bone broth because they're making for 24 hours the bone broth from gelatin rich bones like femurs and necks and knuckles. It's amazing stuff with the health properties are uh, 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 unbelievable, right? So let's crank up that heat right there. Laura asks, can you do a review on fast food breakfast options? Breakfast is when I tend to rely on fast food. Interesting idea. Interesting, yeah. Because a lot of places we've been. Where do you go, Laura? Yeah. Well, to be honest, I think the healthiest option, excuse me, there's a mango in my tooth. The healthiest option would be the power breakfast sandwich at Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. The ingredients are actually, actually pretty darn good, excuse me. And it's a sprouted grain flat. Amazing, get the power breakfast sandwich. That was actually one of our uh, weaker fast food reviews, right? Duncan, I thought people would be super stoked about that because people love breakfast recipes and hauls. I think next week we're gonna start filming some hauls with recipes. And I think I might like to do Dollar Tree extreme budget healthy-ish meals. Imagine making like fried rice with protein for like a dollar or under a dollar a serving. It could be crazy. Yeah, I wonder what videos the folks watching this would like to see. Open, yeah. open to all ideas. Yeah. So we'll see if there's any common themes. Yeah, throw some ideas. What what kind of, like in general, or like regarding that? Yeah, fast food or budget or more uh, food informational or yeah. more just, yeah, I don't We'll see what uh, the folks want. Yeah, throw it on some recommendations. Like Brad said, do you want to see haul and recipes? Stuff like that, let us know. We do the videos for y'alls. Ethan asks... Or uh, I saw him ask a couple times about a baby food that you recommend. A video coming this week about uh, food for little ones. Yep, there's actually it's going to be an expose about there's heavy metals and lead in your baby food. By far the best one is Serenity Kids. It's like Lloyd Braun on uh, Seinfeld. Serenity now. Uh -huh. it's an amazing, amazing company that has bar none the best ingredients I've ever seen for a kid. If I didn't make Rose all her own food with Desi, I would have used that. But she does eat their puffs, actually, which I'll have a promo code for sometime soon. They have bone broth puffs that are, like, insane. Rose loves them. Okay, so I'm just waiting for this pot to come to the boil. I'll add some coconut milk later on, and then we'll season it, and we'll be done. And then we're going to sear those chops. I'm debating if I should sear them in here, because it's going to be quite smoky or I can break out my portable gas burner and, and uh, take it outside and do it. Might make more sense to do that, I have time. Okay, let me always oh, come to a boil. All right guys, we're in good shape now, I love it. So just a thousand people watching right now. Thanks for hanging out. My girl Artie just bought the cookbook, thank you so much. If you bought the cookbook, especially the new one, Five Ingredient Meals, please leave an Amazon review. I have my Amazon um, link to buy it in the description box under the Thrive link. But if you're in another country, don't use my link. Just search your local Amazon for Flav City Five Ingredient Meals. <laughs> You'll see it there, Rose is so cute. Bobby, I bought the Laird Sleeping Product. I can't drink it, I don't wanna throw it away, so I put it in my coffee and mix it with a bunch of things to mask the flavor. What's wrong with the flavor? I mean, it doesn't taste like sweet or they don't have natural flavors. It's a little tart from the uh, acerola put cherry. Honey. Honey. Oh, yeah, put some honey in there. Desi put some raw honey in there. Wait, wouldn't that not even, why would you want sleep, still breast and renew in coffee? Well, because it still has vitamin C and magnesium. No, but, it defeats the purpose. Don't put it in the coffee. Yeah. Uh, because you're trying to promote sleep and no. coffee for yeah. at least. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little silly to put it in salad, but I mean, a salad, you know. Salad, salad yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw Wendy said more cold salads. Yes. Oh, Milwaukee Brewer, back in the house. Milwaukee! Chomps upsize 20% off Dang. free shipping until June 1st. Good nice, son. The varieties that thrive. True. Well, yeah, uh, Chomps has some nice one. I'm not supposed to eat red meat. Is it okay to have the beef bone broth? There's zero meat in there. Yeah, it's all bones. 
My question is why aren't you supposed to have red meat? Because if you're eating grass-fed, pasture-raised red meat and grass-fed, pasture-raised lamb, it's about one of the best things your body can get because of not just the protein, the iron, the heme, the minerals. You're not going to get that from plants. The car goes into the rock. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew, I am drinking Spindrift, the massive sale going on right now at Costco. I highly recommend going to Costco and getting that. But if you're in Canada, I'm not sure it's on sale there. Or if you have it, to be honest. Stingman says, has he had to contact you guys yet? I uh, contact you guys, I don't know if he means yesterday or yet, I talked with them, Bobby. Uh, well, no, I have a contact there all the time anyway. They just emailed me about like, um, if I need product, they can have a, a website I can ask from, which is really nice. Daphne gives a super chat of $20. Thank you for that. Oh, thank you, Daphne. Go, that's so sweet of you. Um, Emily, at the age of six months, I would start giving your toddler bone broth. So good for uh, development. No, but not kettle five. Yeah, homemade. Okay. Oh yeah, say homemade because that has onions and other stuff that your their tummies aren't ready for. You gotta make homemade version, which I have as a safe story on Instagram. At twelve months. At twelve months. They can have this. At twelve months, kettle and fire and prepared ones. The ones for for a six month old, you don't put any. Yeah, at six months it's just no. water, bones, salt, that's it. And the Brian, vinegar. Brian B. asked for a review of BurgerFi. I don't know if BurgerFi is everywhere in the U.S., though. Yeah, I'll check it out. Because Maybe. of the hormones in red meat. So it's actually illegal to add hormones to cattle these days. And if you're buying especially pasture-raised, grass-fed meat, there's no hormones. They don't even use antibiotics unless the cattle get sick. So you really don't have to worry about that, in my opinion. Does Thrive Market work in the U.K.? Unfortunately not, Sammy boy. A healthy milk powder for tea. It's funny you mention that. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but this just, but. this is, but I will, I, I never listen to anyone. This is coming out in I think a week plus. It's a shelf stable organic oat and milkadamia nut powder that I used to make a smoothie today with Brad. How is that smoothie? It was really, really Insane. Good. So it's organic. Oat, macadamia nut. There's an unsweetened version and a sweetened version. This one has a touch of coconut sugar. Sacha inchi, which is an Aztecan seed that's amazing. Um, calcium and mushroom powder. Wait for this, I'll have a promo code, hopefully. This is amazing stuff. It's shelf stable too. So it's actually better than buying most garbage oat milks from the grocery store that have added gums and emulsifiers and crappy of Vitamin fortified. Yep, it's exactly what it is. It's from Laird Superfood. Yes, picnic, but that would be a liquid one. Picnic at the grocery store is grass-fed butter and milk and cream creamer. Amazing. Thank you, Tammy. Has that Thrive Market membership? Once again, if you want to try Thrive Market, link is in the description box right below the video. ThriveMarket.com/slash/BobbyLive. Okay. No, we don't even use a microwave. I don't have one. I don't believe they're good for you. In a pinch, back in the old place, I would use it to melt um, butter. I believe the rays from the microwaves are really bad for you and they kill all the nutrients. That's, that's a fact, they kill all the nutrients in the food. And actually, uh, one of my fans has been telling me to swap out my um, stainless steel sheet pans, even though I think they're safe. They said there might be studies that show they can leach and that she has ceramic sheet trays. So I gotta start looking into that. So this is boiling. I'm gonna put the lid on here. Oh, let me do a quick story here. Has anyone cooked with ceramic sheet trays? Do they work well? I know ceramic pans are nice, but I don't want like, I don't want there to be a coating on there like ceramic, so I'm not sure. William asks, will you be cooking in Bulgaria? Yeah, I'll be doing a lot of live streams, absolutely. Be doing the rose videos, all that stuff. All right, soup has just come to a boil. I'm holding off on the coconut milk over here. Let's throw the lid on here. We're gonna cook it for about 25 or 30 minutes over medium low heat. The girls are having a good time over there. What's going on? Hey, Rose Honey Bunny, having a good time? <laughs> Thank you for noticing. James at the Barber Club of Pompano Beach does a great job there. 
Go check them out. Tell them Flav City sent you. It was well overdue, Vivi, too. Yeah. Well overdue. Okay. I'm going to start preheating my pan here. Should we do it inside or outside? What do you think? Probably does this call. We'll do it outside. I'm going to get it ripping hot. I got to bust out the portable burner. We haven't used this in Chicago, right? But it's just too darn messy to do, do this inside. I'll show you what I'm grabbing here from the laundry room. Sure. This is a great thing to have. So I have this for a couple of reasons. If I'm outside grilling and I want to saute something on the side, this is a lovely thing to have. But if you're going to like sear a steak or what's another food that splatters like crazy? Uh, lamb chops. You probably want to get this. It's on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash slave city. It's all my kitchen gear that I recommend to get. It's a portable gas burner. And you just put a butane tank in there and you take it outside. That way, not only the mess, but the smell. Right? You don't want to be like the rock. You don't want to be like, you can smell la, 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 what the Bob is cooking. No, I don't want that, right? I want to do it outside so Mother Nature can smell la, 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 what the dad is cooking, right? Can you, Rose? Can you smell la, 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 la? You can? Is it good? Do you want some spin drift? You want some? No? What do you want? You want the drink? You want me? Oh, I'm cooking though right now. I'm cooking, baby. I'm making some din din rows. So I'll pop in. Ceramic sheet trays break easy. Interesting. But how are they effective? That's my question. See, so it's my understanding that I won't cook on tin foil, right? I won't cook on it. I don't believe that the actual properties from the tin don't go into the food under high heat. Stainless steel is not safe as well, but it's not. No, stainless steel would be safe. Aluminum. Aluminum, yeah, that's, aluminum is not. You don't think so? You can get stainless steel. It's going to be probably really expensive, right? That could be an option too. Stainless steel shoots through. Ceramic is the best. You know this from experience? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, ceramic then doesn't leach anything. Oh, well, yeah, in terms of that, yeah, it's completely non toxic. Carolyn says, after my auntie uh, accidentally put the remote control in the microwave, we had to throw it <laughs> and replace it. I don't miss it. It's been over a year now. Nice. You're not missing it, Caroline, right? Jeez, I wonder what even happened to that thing. Anyway. Yeah. Ashley has a great question. Can you talk more about high cholesterol foods to avoid? Because my friend doesn't eat shrimp or red meat because of cholesterol and gallbladder issues. So your friend, unfortunately, Ashley, and I hope they're watching this, is misguided by traditional medicine here in the US. Shrimp has naturally high cholesterol. Eggs have natural high cholesterol. But I can say with certainty, by eating those, your cholesterol doesn't go up. The only reason your cholesterol goes up, could be hereditary of course, but uh, food wise, culinary speaking, is when you eat our good old friend, inflammatory foods. Inflammatory foods like sugars, processed oil like canola, grains, gluten, wheat, processed foods, those create constant inflammation in your body and make cholesterol go up. We'll say it again, cholesterol's main goal in your body, and by the way, you need cholesterol, it's a great thing, is to put out inflammation in your body. But if you're eating an anti-inflammatory diet nonstop, you're gonna have elevated cholesterol and the doctors will say, oh, cut out fat, and not the fat, it's inflammatory foods. Now, if you're eating fat like canola oil, peanut oil, safflower oil, it is that fat. Those are inflammatory oils that are loaded with um, free radicals. Watch my video about Flav City cholesterol and Flav City inflammatory foods. Send that to your friend, that was a great question. Start blending the soup. No, not yet, Catherine, I gotta wait till the end. I'll break out my beautiful uh, Vitamix stick blender. Thank you, Christina. Cholesterol is one of the biggest Myths, but also lies, in my opinion, perpetrated on America. We have everyone on statins, whatnot. Change your diet. It's not about taking pills to regulate it when you're continuing to eat inflammatory food. It really makes me ups uh, upset. So Maxine has asked a number of times, beet powder, what do you think about it? Um, I don't use it. I mean, I think beets are great, but to be honest, you don't need it. I think it's completely unnecessary. 
It's really expensive too. What does Brad eat besides what Bobby makes? That's a good Brad question. Uh, ma mainly that, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much what I, what I eat and make, Brad. Oh, Brad had Chipotle last night when Jessica and I and Rose were out and about. What's your go-to Chipotle order, Brad, Brad? Burrito bowl, all day. All day, every day. Cauliflower rice or no? Depends on how uh, cheap I'm feeling. <laughs> It's so skimpy, that cauliflower rice portion. It's yeah, like, they give you like nothing. You have to pay an extra two, three it's brutal, bucks. man. Your, your burrito bowl ends up being like $12. It's brutal. All right? I haven't been there in a while, but it is the healthiest fast food place. Um, the only grapeseed oil, Miriam, would be cold pressed. Most of it is not cold pressed. It's another inflammatory oil. I'm going to post, Michelle, this soup recipe to Flav City Instagram tonight because I have it saved as a screenshot from um, Instagram, but not written down. And you're gonna want it. Brad, do you like to bake? I said, I actually responded saying, no, I don't. Do you like to cook? Yeah, I don't mind it. It doesn't do it very much around here. Viviana said, wish they had coupons. Who is they? Who's that, Vivs? What's the difference between keto and paleo? Keto is low carb, paleo is not. Paleo can be higher carb. It's just no grains and no dairy. On keto, you can have grains and dairies. You just got to make sure your keto uh, carb count is lower. Uh, unbuns are great. The unbun bread is really good, but the favorite thing is un tortillas. They're the, honestly the best tortillas I've ever had, and they happen to be keto too. How do I know when my pan is getting to the temperature I desire? This gun, 260, not there yet. It's a bit slow on my thing there. I'm going to take this outside along with this and a splatter guard. I'll be right back. Wow, it's really dark out here now. I was just about to say, Dang. Tammy. Tammy D said I just had my last chemo, uh, chemo treatment. Nice. Tammy, for, for cancer, what keto. What would you recommend for me to heal? Wow. Keto is the way to go for cancer. It's the keto kill. It's the cancer killer. It's amazing. Cancer cells can't come back and can't survive when you're starving them of uh, sugars, starches, stuff like that, inflammatory foods. It's very, very cool. So you caught it. Caught it. Super dark. It's crazy. <clears throat> what are the best foods for autoimmune disease? Anti-inflammatory diet. Search Flav City inflammation. When did you start getting rose water? Asks Emily. Uh, what? Eight months. Eight months. Even though Jesse's mom was dying to give her uh, water immediately. No, we don't do that. It depends really. Uh, they don't recommend it early. We should breastfed. Yeah, she was breastfed too. But no. How That's, many ports does the doctor say? This one? Hmm. I'll tell you the number. You can look it up. It's the number 26. My guess would be seven and a half quarts. Can someone verify that? Now, before I cook these, I want to, I should say they're already cooked. Before I sear them, I want to pat them dry. And notice how I put them on a wire rack set on tin foil, which I'm okay for that. That's so they, they dry. I don't want them sitting in a pool of their own juices because they're not going to get crispy. All I'm trying to do now is sear them. It's got a huge layer of fat that if I wanted to, I can just put the fat cap in there for a couple of minutes and render all that off. We'll see if I want to do that. And it's uh, basically, it's um, a porterhouse steak. It's got the baby uh, fillet here and the strip steak right there. Clarissa, 310 Clarissa gives a super chat of $5. Doesn't say anything, but thank you. Thank you, that. 310 coming at you from Cali. Sangman asks, when is the hurricane shopping video coming? <laughs> it's hopefully not this season at all. Because our rental house is in a pretty vulnerable area here, actually. The new house won't be. What type of cookies do you eat? They make cookies. They eat uh, Siete, High Key, um, but mainly make them themselves. Yeah. Siete, amazing paleo cookies, and High Key from Costco is a must. 331. We're getting there. 
Marlene says, I have had cancer. Get off the inflammatory foods and sugar and the sugary foods. Sugar is the devil, my friend. Uh, Anya, Anamaya got the Tau Clean UV light toothbrush. Amazing stuff. When can you give babies the Serenity Kids puffs? What do you think, babe? Serenity, you want? The puffs from Serenity. Oh, the puffs? Yeah, I think it says on the bottle, actually. Uh, like one year. 12 months? It's five and a half quarts. Oh, okay, good to know. I think I have a bigger one too. I have three Chris even, early, even earlier, I think. Could you review the ingredients for the cauliflower soup? Sure. I started with two strips of bacon, which was optional, rendered out the fat, added in red onion, uh, two zucchini. I forgot, but you also want to add two or three strips of uh, celery. Cook that for 20 minutes. Salt and pepper. I have two pounds of frozen cauliflower rice. Add a quart and a half of bone broth, some salt, boil it for 25 minutes. Then we'll add maybe about half a cup to three quarters a cup of coconut cream and check for seasoning and blend it up. It's going to be uh, uh, unbelievable. Thrive Market versus Vitacost. Why, can, why is Thrive Market a better choice? To be honest, I don't have that much experience with Vitacost and I'm pretty sure they don't have the extensive inventory that Thrive Market has. But hey, check it out. I'm all about saving money. Three forty-ish. Milwaukee Brewery Super Chat says Hugh has some great cookies. Oh, you know what? I was a little disappointed with the Hugh cookies. I, I, ingredients are great. I don't think they tasted as good as I wanted them to. Same thing with their crackers. Although their pizza crackers are amazing, I didn't love their cookies. Is that air conditioning blow. Oh my god, gee. Wait till it gets like midsummer heat is going to be a brutal one here. Brutes. I do keto, but I eat fruit. Yeah, I understand that. That's why we do keto paleo here. I want to eat a mango. I want to eat a banana, which you can't do if you're on a strict keto diet. But if you have cancer or a serious medical condition, you've got to stay on a strict keto diet. Yeah, Rose. Yeah. This is for daddy, for the video. Kettle on fire. It's for daddy, Rose. It's, for, it's for daddy, Rose. No, the iPad's for daddy. Yeah. I know, Rose. Rose, Daddy's gonna take a very hot pan and bring it outside. You gotta be careful now. Huh. Mama girl says once you eat Jesse's cookies, you never eat Starbucks. You. That's a good. Yeah, that's a good. Well, yeah, it's kind of night and day. Right? Yeah, that's for the tortillas. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, Rose. Mm -hmm. Stay right there, Rosie. I'm gonna throw this on the burner outside. Stay there, Rosie. It's very hot. Yeah, stay there. It's very hot. Very hot. Okay, the pan's preheating again, Rose. I'm going to get some avocado oil. Yeah, oil. Uh-huh. Here's what I'm getting, some avocado oil. Uh, Ooh, keto wine's a must tonight. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Diane says, agreed. It's, it's too I hot. think Dusty's almond cookies are tiny times. Rose, it's too hot out there. The pan, you want to put it in the pan, but it's very hot. Scorching hot pan out there. It's crazy. I know, Rose, I wish you could go on. I'm going to go outside. It's very dangerous. Very, very if you see, Rose, you could probably watch from here. Come here. Watch what Daddy's doing. It's very hot and dangerous. Look. You can watch through the window here, Rose. Look, Rose. Very dangerous. So you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm basically just searing it. A Memorial Day staple, right? See, the pan's already smoking. See, Rose, very hot. And then I'll step back. And once the meat goes in, I'll just press it down. I'm coming in. It's very hot, Rose. You don't want to be out here, right? Okay. Yeah, very hot. Exactly, Rose. Very hot. See? That's why you didn't go outside. Very hot. Oh, Daddy will go, yeah, exactly. Rose goes like this when it's hot now. She's like, yeah, it's hot. 
Very hot roast. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. All right, soup is doing lovely. I think it's at that point now. Well, actually, I'll just add some coconut milk here. Boom. Can always add more. I'm going to add some more. You want to add that? Okay, come here. You can add that. No, are you wearing pants or no? Sure. Yep, good. Always got to check that. <laughs> you never know. Uh, as she drinks it. Here, we add it. I have to add that to the pan, Rosie. Good. Perfect. Yeah, you did it. Brava. You want to add more? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, add the whole thing. Why not, Rosie? Why not? More is more. Perfect. Didn't drink it. Good. Uh, Hello. Hello? Is Rose there? Hello? Hello? Can you talk to them? Yeah, Hello? Hello? Hello. Thank you guys, you've really helped. You need to get in better health. You are appreciated. Thank you, Janet. No, Jay. 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 Oh, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Close. Appreciate that, my man. That's why we make the videos to help people take control of their health. Uh huh. My sweet love. Sweet lover. Sweet lover girl. Sweet lover girl. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Can you stir baby soup? Gentle, 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 slow, 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 swing low, sweet rope rolls along. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Come on to carry me home. Okay. Hang out with mommy over here. Why don't you come back over here, mommy? Say hi. Oh, wee. ETA? Oh, gosh. Um, 15 minutes? Oh, yeah, I got to sear each chop individually. That's why. Let's check this for seasoning. What are the odds it needs? Actually, let's blend it up first. What do you think? More salt or perfectly seasoned? I used to always say there's a 90% chance it needs more salt, but... I'm really good at seasoning these days, and it's usually pretty spot on. I'll say it needs a touch more salt. Yeah, one second. I'm going to blend the soup, Rose. It's very hot. This is my Vitamix uh, stick blender. It's a little expensive, but man, it is so good. What are you grabbing? It says more salt always. Yeah. Well, trust me, I love my salt and everything, but not always. But yeah, that's, a, that's why you check your food for seasoning, right? It's got five speeds here. I thought this is the kind of soup that gets better the next day. Yep. I should probably, hold on, just double check my uh, thing out here. Because I'm not cooking it, right? I'm just searing it. Wow, it smells so good out here. Thank God I did out here. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh my God. I wish you guys could see that. Yeah, the crust is unbelievable, Rose. You can open a can there, Rose? Oh, you guys. Holy shamali. The crust. That was like, stay over here, Rose. Beyond Food Network worthy. Holy cow. Yeah, it's very hot out there. Be very careful, Rosie. Damn. It was like dark, golden brown and everything. My gosh, that was great. Mmm. Let me show Instagram what's up here. These chops are going to be insane in the membrane. It's that time we blend up the soup. We got the coconut milk in there and all that good stuff. But let me take you guys in the back here. Over there. The pork is searing right there on the ground. I did it outside because it's really smoky, but the crust on that pork is insane. What's that, bro? Oh, no, I got some of those. I cannot believe the crust on that stick. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I like to clean these things also immediately so they don't get all crusty and nasty. So we got a joker over there? We got a jokester, y'all. Like, perfect. I can use this pot. To blend in. 
um, Nell and CZ said, I buy one pair of bone broth is good for cancer patients. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you? Um, I want to know if bone broth is good for cancer patients. So Nell is Is it good for cancer patients? Yes, for cancer patients. Well, listen, a cancer diet would be a, a keto diet, but also, it's not specifically good for cancer, but it's loaded with gelatin, collagen, and chondroitin. So yes, it is great for that because it's a healing and a gut healing food. Fantastic stuff. Like I said, go to my Instagram story tonight after dinner. I'll have a sick 30% off flash sale on that. That is the best one you can basically buy and the price is unbelievable. How's Warren asks, Bobby, are you prepped for hurricanes? Not I'm not prepped for anything. I barely prep myself for dinner than tomorrow night. More salt. You were correct. Now me add in two pinches. I'm gonna kill the heat. And then let me go take the first one off. And then put the second chopper on. Get to the chopper! Wow. Yeah. Stay there, it was very hot out here. Super interesting, Emily. You guys hear the sizzle? Crazy. You don't sell the steak, you sell the sizzle, right? One second, Rosie. It's very hot out there, very dangerous. I want to get some tin foil. Well, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Let me just bring it in so I can show you guys. Mm -hmm. One second, Rosie. Stay there for a sec. It's going to be an epic pork chop. Look at the pork chop here. So this is the difference between the one that wasn't seared yet and that one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Not while it's hot, Rosina. Here's what I'll do. You can start eating this one soon, Rose, if you want. I'll take some ghee, that Thrive Market pasture-raised ghee. And, and once again, am I adding something that's going to raise your cholesterol? No. If I ate this with starchy mashed potatoes, right, and bread, I would be eating an inflammatory meal that would raise your cholesterol. But because I'm eating a keto and paleo meal, you're not going to raise any kind of inflammation or that pesky cholesterol that everybody's concerned about. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Yeah, beautiful is true. Now let's try one more. Saisoning there. Pour a bowl for Desi and Rosina here. Put some chives from the garden. Do it. Should I get some chives from the garden, Mom? That'd be a lovely garnish now. Kind of like how they garnish um, potato leek soup. Not that I've... We don't have a gardener anymore. Well, we lost Mamina, the garden keeper, but there's still chives growing from the vertical garden, thank God. The garden's turned into literally a wasteland since Desi's mother left, nice unfortunately. Is she going potty? Mm -hmm. I think Rose is going potty, maybe. Can you Oh boy. Oh, she needs to take her underwear off, Mom. Oh, nice. Yeah, wait for Mommy. Nice. Thank you, Rosalana. Kelly asks, does it matter if you use Celtic or Himalayan salt in the soup? No, not at all. The thing is, the only issue with Celtic or Himalayan, it's a very fine salt, which is very hard to control, which is why I like a Celtic that has more feel to it so you know exactly what you're putting in. Otherwise, it tends to fall through your hands like sand through the hourglass, like the days of our lives. All right. Vilma says adding grated cheddar cheese on the cauliflower soup would elevate. Oh, that's a grand idea. Holy schmoleons. Who's that? Uh, Vilma? Who that? Uh, Vilma. Vilma. Great idea. Actually, if you put like a handful of cheddar in there and blend it, but I'm not going to get my blender dirty again. I love that idea. 
Here we go. I actually have the best yeah. cheese you can get at the grocery store. I got that um, raw, grass-fed Organic Valley. <whistles> Vilma with the call of the day. Everyone give a round of applause to Vilma. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, really? Rose is clapping for you, Vilma. <laughs> That's awesome sauce. Boom, Vilma. Wow. A little bit of cheese for Rosina. And then I'm going to go out there. I'm going to flip. When I flip, you flip, we flip, and get some chives from the garden. Uh, Cooper the Great says, I just crumble some wisps in my soup. Nice. Well, that's a classy touch. Wisps. Pss, 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 pss. Uh -huh. Now, technically, it's not a paleo soup anymore because of cheese, but it's okay. Dog. Dun dun. Mm hmm. Dun. I want to leave one. Desi can't keep, keep an eye on Rosina. Oh, that is such a cool idea. Never would have thought about that. But I was talking about broccoli cheddar earlier. Okay. Let me show Instagram the flipping here. What brand of so this is why I'm doing it outside. It's just too smelly and too messy to do it inside. And you do it for a couple minutes on each side. Oh my gosh. Look at that, you guys. That crust is a must. Holy cow. Now, in the meantime, I need some chives for my soup. Uh, just a great idea from a to put cheddar cheese on top of the soup and garnish. Kind of like a broccoli cheddar. And somewhere on my What's up, Rosina? Oh, Rosina! Now your mic's out. Or mic, is it? Oh, probably, it should be good now. Yeah. That's probably too far away. I went to the, uh, the depths of the garden to get that uh, stuff. Okay, got my chives here. I'll check for seasoning. Soup is great. Actually, technically a shade under salted, but because we have that cheddar, it's going to make it better. Be yeah, rosy. Okay. The pork, you guys, oh my gosh. It looks breathtaking, as they say in Seinfeld. Breathtaking. I can't help but notice you use the same word to describe my pork chop as my baby. Well, Wayne, sometimes you just say things to be nice. Who's ready for some soupy? Huh, Mommy? Uh, a little soupy? We're ready. A little soupy? No chives for you, Rosina, right? favorite recipe from the uh, new cookbook is the wild rice and chicken. Uh, oh yeah, the chicken fried wild rice. That's actually a recipe that I'm pitching to Costco. In case you don't know, we're trying to get Flav City prepared meals at Costco, which would be super cool. And one of the meals I'm pitching them is my wild rice fried rice, along with uh, a little bit of turkey meatballs with mash, and uh, cauliflower mac and cheese. So hopefully later this year, you could see some uh, Flavor City prepared meals. Mm. My new socks, Rose, thank you, uh, at Costco. It's a great sock. Can I see, Rose? Oh, yeah, those are the round ones. Very comfortable. Okay, that's done. I think it's time to 
swap chops. We got to swap a chop. Swap, swap, swap a chop. Wow. Okay. All right, second chop is done. Look at that color. You can do what you want to do in living color. This one has to rest. The first one's pretty much ready. Do you and Rosina want to try something, ma'am? Are they ready? Sure, our mother. That's from the color of the smoking on the grill. First, come try the soup. Oh, you want to try the soup first? Come here, Rosie. Let's try some soupy from Daddy. Over here. Over here. I'll hold you. Come on. Rosina, my sweet. Yeah, the soup's warm. I got to hold it. Come here. Are oh, you wearing Daddy's socks? Nice, oh, Rose. We got no. Come here. Oh, well, I can't hold you because you're not wearing underwear. We're going to show your naked butt, right? You have a butt? You're showing that naked butt? Huh? Yeah. You can come up here. Mom's, mom's going to get you a... Uh... You're wearing my... Third underwear for the live stream. Look at you. You're like uh, Michael Jordan going through different well, pairs of uh, socks or no, no, shoes. Hold on, Rosina. I'll pick you up in a second. Hold on. Yeah, you'll, you. Well, if you want to go up there, you don't have to wear one. It's a nice sight. I was wearing my long socks with her naked butt showing. <laughs> but. Okay, Gail. Here. Mother? No, 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 That's for you, Rosina. Wow. Let me get you this special spoonie for my sweet Rosine. Oh, nice pull, Mom. Wow. Huh. That's amazing. <laughs> so good. Hold on. Check it out. Come close. Dang. Vilma! Woo! That's Here. epic. Wow. Delicious. How is it, Rose? Blah, blah. Oh, you want Brabant to have a so sweetie, Rose? What coffee would blah, you recommend blah. from Thrive? Blah, blah. Um, blah, blah. Any kind of single origin coffee that's not a blend. Cheese? Single origins are usually not blends, but any single origin coffee should work just swell and dandy. Okay, I have this lovely rose pork chop here. Is that good cheese? Yeah. So, Rosie, I'm going to give you and Mommy the best part here, the fillet of the pork. Oh, man, nice and fatty. Look at this. So, we'll slice it up. Actually, you know what? So, here's what I want to do. I want to take some of this sauce. This is the um, Primal Kitchen Hollandaise sauce. I was going to make a sauce, but I got too lazy. And then I'll slice this. Beautiful color. Cooked to perfection because I used the probe thermometer, of course, right? That's not me. I was just relying on technology so I don't overcook my beautiful pasture-raised pork. We don't need all this fat on the end here. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous pork chop. Are you grating some cheese for your father, Rose? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to sharpen my uh, slave city knife. Guys, can you see the color on this? I mean, this is the way pork should be. It's cooked perfectly. Mm. So it's kind yeah. of chunky. I left it. You a, don't mind it yeah, I left it a shade chunky on purpose. Ah. Mm. Tastes of bacon. Not that nice. Mm, thank you, Rose. Wait, do you know why Thrive stopped selling uh, Laird? I don't think they ever did. Oh. I've never seen it on there.
Unless I missed it. Okay. Nice, Rosie. Yeah, that's for me and Brad Brass. Very good. Uh, yeah, you're getting very good, my love. All right, Desi, try this nice piece right here. Yes, it all so this is the filet of pork chop and a little bit of hollandaise sauce. Pretty sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Nice. Come on. Come on, try roast. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. I'm gonna cut you the perfect piece, roast. Here you go, Rosine. Brab brab. Brab I'm gonna cut brab brab. The perfect piece too. Man, the pork. That's a pork chop. It tastes nothing like that factory farm GMO product from the store. Oh yeah, brab brab can just eat the whole big piece here. Here, brab brab. Try that. Thank you. That's just delightful. Delightful. Want some more, Rosa? Here. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this uh, hollandaise sauce. It's a vegan hollandaise sauce. But the pork chop needs a sauce. And I was Why would you have vegan hollandaise sauce when that goes on eggs? Because Pomo Kitchen doesn't use um, butter. And it's not paleo. Oh, it's not. Oh, but this is paleo. It's yeah, vegan. it's paleo. So it's cashew butter. That's why. No nope. Avocado oil and cashew butter. I kind of neglected that last pork chop a little bit. It's heavily seared. It's almost like Yeah, but instead of being, which one do you want? You want the tongs? Yeah. Instead of being nasty ingredients there, it's 100% yeah. as good as they get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rosina. Absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna try that with some wine. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. With the keto wine, what do you think of that, Brenda? It was really, really good. It's lovely. So lovely. All right. On mm -hmm. a shimmy like Kara. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Just have pork like this. It's a joy. Thank God. We did the reverse sear. Uh-oh. We didn't cook the whole thing on the Traeger because it just won't sear the meat. Mmm. Mmm. That's like feel good food. You're gonna eat that? It's so darn satisfying. Mm -hmm. But you ain't gonna feel like a nap afterwards. Mmm. Mm. Let me get that other one off the grill. Mmm. Mm. I need that. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Rob. Oh, the flies are getting happy again, bro. Uh oh, the flies. The flies. The flies. Yeah. Flying around in the air. All right. Did you say this is burnt or caramelized? It's fine. Oh, top roast ketchup. Char. There's a fine line between burnt and caramelized. It's not really burnt burnt, but it definitely has too much color on that one. Maybe a big dollop of uh, ghee can save it. <laughs> Kelly says, I wish my daughter at 17 could do a rose can in the kitchen. <laughs> it's all about practice. Give them uh, two things to do anything. There's a lot of practice and patience. Mike gives a super chat of two dollars and says, thoughts on the recent news about Bel Campo? Uh, yeah, I talked about that on my um, Instagram. So I'm still looking into it, but I verified from the top people at Belcampo that all of the meat 
that I ordered and we ordered via my promo code from the web store was all from their farm, legit. It affected the Santa Monica store only. It was like 2% or less of the beef there. That being said, it shouldn't have happened, so I'm still looking into it. But this is actually a Belcampo pork right here. Um, so it looks really bad on the surface, but it really isn't that big of a deal. But there was a trust issue there, so I'm looking into it. But everything you order from the web store is totally cool. All right. Boom. Boom. Wait, what spices um, need to be organic? Any? Well, boom. That girl. Um, well, I mean, if you get paprika, it's from a bell pepper. It should be organic. But what are you going to do? That's right. Maxine says the sleep is going to kick in for a roasty after that pork. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. No, corn is not Bobby approved. The Q-U-O-R-N. Mm-hmm. So I will share the recipe for that soup on Flav City Instagram stories later on. Uh, in the description box, one more love for Thrive Market. We talked about them all day long. Click my link, thrivemarket.com slash Live. You get the 25% off your first order, the free gift from Primal Kitchen, and it's 30 days risk-free. But to help you out what to order, all my Thrive Market favorites are there. So at least try them out. You're going to love them. If you don't love it, who cares? They'll give your membership feedback. You get the big discount. Um, recipe will be on uh, Flip City Instagram later on. Check out the cookbooks. I'll put the links down below. They're on Amazon too. Uh, five ingredient meals. People are loving it. But that's about it. We'll be back next week. Yeah. I don't know what day. Or Wednesday. Something. Wednesday. It says, but that might change. Yeah, probably Wednesday. I'm not sure. You never know, though. Okay, guys, that's it. We're going to make one more plate. we got to make one for Brad. Say bye, Rosie. That's it, y'all. Dislav, out. Rosie, out. Brad, Brad, out. Bobby, out. Later, y'all. Great time, as always, hanging out. Have a great Memorial Day tomorrow.